Viewer discretion is advised. What is up y'all? Welcome to a brand new episode of American Truck Simulator. Today we're going to be continuing on our road trip series. As you guys can see there, we do have the Ford Fusion mod in the game. Now the only thing uh, I've noticed about this mod is that it has like the European style license plates on the front and the back. And it does not have its custom sound, so yes, it's going to sound like a truck starting up with a truck parking brake. And I've never seen dual Kenworth trailers like that before. That's pretty cool. But yeah, so let's go ahead and start this bad boy up. Sounds like a truck, doesn't it? Here's a look at the interior. It actually looks really nice. Um, my girlfriend's sister actually has a 2013 Ford Fusion. It does not look like this, though, because this one looks like it is a manual and hers is an automatic. So I'm not quite sure if it's the same vehicle or not. I'm assuming it's a fusion hybrid. But yeah, this one, as you can see there, is a manual. But today on our trip, we are actually going to be heading from Miami. And we're going to go through Key Large and head down to Key West. Because I've wanted to visit Key West for a while now since it is literally in the ocean for the most part, just off the coast of Florida. And I kind of wanted to see how it is represented in game. So I was trying to find a load to get down there. But unfortunately there was nothing. And I spent like at least 20 minutes going through and trying to figure stuff out. And there was nothing unfortunately. So we're actually going to head to the hotel here at the port of Key West. Or port of Oakland I should say. So we're going to go ahead and hop on out of here. Release that parking brake. Which you can see that goes up and down which is cool. Shifter into forward speedometer right there on the screen I don't think you can change it nope you cannot and let's go ahead and hop on the road and let's go ahead and start talking about stuff but yeah as I was saying like this is one of those runs that I've been wanting to do for a while now and that is only because like I said I wanted to see how it is actually represented in game if it like is at all and this seat is super freaking low like good lord but it is a fusion so I mean it does make sense Ah, there we go. But yeah, I, I if if it even is represented in game, but that's just something that I've been wanting to like check out for a while now, and I've never been actually able to get a uh, load down there through the cargo market, through freight market. Uh, external doesn't work with the coast to coast since it's not part of like actual like SCS, so it doesn't actually work. We're gonna be making a right over here. We're gonna be stuck behind this Pepsi truck here. Not sure what that Darwin uh, truck is over there. I've never seen Darwin before. That's new. That is different. Darwin. Might be a Florida thing. I don't know. Yeah, we're going to be stuck behind this uh, Pepsi truck here out of Georgia. And he's going to make it a right. Got a 42 print and a Walbert here as well at this intersection. We're going to make that right hand turn. There we go. Hope you guys are having an awesome day so far awesome week as well um, we're just gonna be doing some cruising through here kinda getting down to Key West here but yeah if you guys are enjoying the video and you guys do will enjoy do make sure you hit the like button as well as that subscribe button with the bell icon and make sure you guys follow me on all the social media Instagram Facebook uh, Twitter and join the discord server and if you guys do want actual notifications of when uploads are like uploaded right then and there Discord would be the best place to go because it updates as soon as I get or as soon as I upload a video it updates. So if that's what you're looking for, Discord would be the best place to go. And Discord is also one of the best places to reach me. And email is the same way, but Discord would be one of the better places cuz I'm on Discord constantly 24/7 and I would like to have more members join the server since the server has been kind of dead the last couple weeks. So I kind of want to get it more active in there and Stuff like that. So if you guys haven't already and you guys have Discord, do make sure you guys join the Discord server as well. I'd greatly, greatly, greatly appreciate it if you guys would. Like we're going to be making a right. Uh, nope, we're going straight. Yeah, we're going straight on through. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. But yeah, I'm like super excited for this. I'm hoping that it doesn't let me down. Because I kind of want to see how it's represented like in between the water and stuff like that. Like it's just like an island city for the most part. 
I'm looking, I'm really looking forward to see how this is actually interpreted in American Truck Simulator. Especially how they're going to like interpret it when, when Florida actually it comes out as an actual state. Not part of like the coast to coast, but like an actual state. So Key West was straight ahead, so we will do just that. Right there, got a FedEx. Are you kidding me? A red light offense, and I'm literally not even behind the line that much. Like, I'm literally a little bit past the line. Like, literally where I stop in real life. Red light offense. Are you kidding me? I'm not even getting paid for this run. That's the worst part. I am not even getting paid for this run. This is just a free mode um, run. So, it's already not looking to be a good one. Looks like we're going to be merging into a two-lane here. So, let's go ahead and turn down that blinker. Now I know most Florida drivers, I've seen Jeff Baviano's channel, most Florida drivers don't actually use blinkers and stuff like that, but I am one of those drivers that like to use blinkers, so I will be using blinkers. So right now we're heading, I believe, southbound on Route 1, heading towards Key West. Going to be doing the speed limit today. I'm not going to be speeding or anything like that. I'm just going to follow like traffic laws today and stuff like that, so... I feel like it'd be different for a change, and plus, especially how I drove the last time with that Dodge Ram. Going across central Illinois, I feel like I need to start paying more attention to, like, speed limits and uh, making sure my vehicle don't flip and stuff like that, so. But it looks like they are sending a FedEx trailer down to the port there, so possibly for, like, uh, international loads or something like that, or if they're trying to do it, like, cross-country, I don't know. But this is a very nice Ford Fusion, though. I mean, I would not get one in real life. Just because I'm not a Ford guy, I'm more of a Chevy guy. But this car does actually get, or at least, not, I don't know about this one, but my girlfriend's sister's car does get some good gas mileage. Like, she'll be down at, like, 63 miles to empty. You put in at least, like, 12 bucks, and she'll be at, like, 300 miles to empty. You fill it up, it'll be at least, like, $15, depending on where she's at and how much gas is. So it's like her car does get some very, very, very good gas mileage. It looks like we got some water to our left over there for the most part. Got a little sailboat or a little boat on the water there. That's great. That's really cool. Here we're coming up up into Key Large here. Not sure if Key Large is an actual town or if it's just uh, a part over there, but we are going super slow, so I'm going to start speeding up a little bit here. Go we'll set it about fifty. Oh, it's a 65 now, so. Set it at 65. Oh, 45 coming into Key Large. Key Largo. I thought it was Key Large. Key Largo. Alright, well, there's a trooper right there. Arizona State Trooper. Arizona DPS, Department of Public Safety. That Walmart trailer had three axles. Not understanding why. Walmart trailer needs three axles. But it looks like they're going to be in place of FHP. We are now leaving Key Large. We're in a meeting a little bit. Let's go ahead and get in the right lane here if we can. Oh, we're not even going to be able to see the beauty over here. That's bullshit. I forgot. We're in a car, so we're not really going to be able to see it. Maybe we will, though. Hopefully. Hopefully, because we're just on a long bridge right now. Um... Wow, that is super cool though. Look at that. There's water. I believe there's like train tracks over there, it looks like. That is cool. I hope I wish we were able to see it. Now that's a load of baloney. That is super cool. Got the telephone poles going through and everything. That is awesome. We'll actually kind of do this in third person here. See if maybe I can get my third person driving a little bit better in this episode. But man, that's awesome. That's cool how we're actually like on water too. Like it's just the whole bridge on water. Now that is awesome. This is like one of the places I would actually like to visit in real life if I could. I need that for the speedometer. Yeah, this is one of the places I would definitely love to visit in real life. So we turn on the cruise control there. Probably be better if we were actually in a truck. Because you can probably be able to see things better. But it looks like I got a something up over there. I'm not quite sure what it is. It actually, it might be a container ship. 
Let's go ahead and get back into third person here. Yeah, that is a definite container ship there. That looks cool. This is going to be a different video too because I've never actually done like so much third person driving in a video game before like this. But that is awesome. That container ship, that's cool. Now that is super, super cool. I'm not sure what's up over here with all these weeds in the water. I'm going to start slowing down here because I don't want these idiots brake checking us. Look at all those weeds in the water. That looks cool too. This is great. I'm going to go ahead and pass these people. I think we'll be all right to pass. Set the cruise at 65. Pass that trooper. Get back in the lane. There we go. Well, wow, this is this is nice. I am really loving what they did, what Coast to Coast did with this. This is super beautiful looking. Just look at the water, the train tracks. Little island house. Oh, we're here. Okay, we're swerving. Little island house over here. That yellowish. That looks cool. We got a nice bigger bridge coming up over here. Little house up there too. That looks cool. The train tracks and everything. It just looks super phenomenal. We're going to come up on a bridge over here it looks like. Uh, not quite sure. I think we might be actually entering Key West right now. I believe. I'm not quite sure though. But once we get in the Key West, we'll go kind of back in the first person. Got a little billboard in the water over there. That's interesting. Got the telephone poles in the water too. I don't think know if that's actually a thing or not, but yeah, looks like we are actually going to be coming into Key West here. So we're just about at our destination. Got 24 miles left to go. And yes, we do have an engine brake on this vehicle. No amount, I am not going to use it. I just thought it'd be funny to actually tell, show you guys that we do have an engine brake in a Ford Fusion hybrid. Oh, this isn't a Fusion. This is a Focus. Okay. I thought it was a Fusion. My bad. This is a Ford Focus. So I need to edit that out in the beginning because this is a Ford Focus. But look at these beach houses, though. Those pink and purple ones are like, ugh, weird looking. But the yellow ones look super weird too. I mean, weird, weird, weird color choice for these beach houses for sure. But I mean, hell, I ain't judging. Not judging at all. There's those train tracks too, are right over there. Damn. This is actually nice looking. I'm actually really enjoying looking at Key West. This is cool with the palm trees and shit. Nice. This is super nice looking. Little gas station coming up over here. Got some more properties out there. Gale gas station. There's a road coming up over here, I believe. Yeah, right here. I will continue out on the main road. Little uh, Santa Monica right there. A little Probably like a little strip mall diner type deal. Following a trucker here. Raise hamburgers. There's an ice cream truck to her left. A little diner. Wow. This is actually super nice looking. If I do have to say so myself. We're getting below the post speed limit here. And we are actually like skipping frames like crazy right now. That DPS trooper right there. Key West has been discovered. So we'll end up uh, just parking right here. Because I don't feel like, feel like going all the way to the port of Oakland. So we'll pull up over here at the donut shop if I can. So it looks like I can. I'm going to go ahead and just park on the side here. Alright, there we go. But yeah, guys, a short little video kind of showing off Key West here. Set that parking brake, set her back in the neutral. Little Greyhound bus right there. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like I said, smash the like button. All that's fun stuff. You guys know what to do. Uh, let me know if you guys want to see more videos like this with the road trip series and stuff like that. And I do apologize for getting the uh, car wrong. I thought it was a Fusion, but it's an actual Ford Focus, so it's a completely different vehicle. Um, but yeah, my girlfriend's sister actually has a Fusion, not a Focus. So it's a completely different vehicle. But yeah, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. 
I'm going to go eat a donut for all y'all. And uh, hope you guys have a great rest of your day. I'll catch y'all later. Peace.